Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben here. Uh, we're back here at Custom Coatings. Uh, it's the day that I posted the first vlog here. So we're gonna do a bit more work. I think we're gonna sand the bumper a bit. Um, Grant's already started doing the fiberglass repair. I teased you guys a bit on Instagram. I didn't really explain it properly in the first video, but what we're doing with the bumper, no, I'm not putting an intercooler um, down there. Like some of you messaged me. I'm actually just um, completely removing the front license plate. So, and there was a bracket that was kind of molded into the bumper, part of the Amuse uh, front bumper kit. And we just chop that out and then change it so that it's just one nice big open hole uh, with a piece of mesh behind it. And it's just gonna make the front of the car look way cleaner. And yeah, like I said in the previous video, I hope I don't get into any trouble for not having a um, license plate mounted properly to the front of the car. But I've actually had some mates that it's, they've been rocking no front license plate for years. And they've, um, they've never had any issues as long as you have it like in the window. Um, and you know, if worse comes to worse, I can always just put one like, and just maybe like glue it on there like um, it should be sweet so anyway let's go see what Grant's up to is it oh yeah left hand drive because they don't they're not like making these like actually selling them in New Zealand yet eh I'm not sure yet yeah. I don't think that because they only just started selling like Mustangs and Camaros here in right hand drive these will probably be ages that's so cool that's fucking massive huge Needs to be dropped a bit, eh? Yeah, heaps. I mean, there are 22s, which look cool, but yeah, yeah. still need a ladder. Yeah, pretty to massive. It. <laughs> oh, manual as well. Mm -hmm. That'll be a fucking beast. This one's going to have a ceramic hard coat. Nice. Just to lock that. Yeah. Is it pretty much like, all like newly imported? Like, pretty much. Yeah, pretty I, new. To, to be honest with you, I think this, this customer has only had it for maybe a few months. I don't know exactly. Um, but just before it goes too far in terms of developing soil marks and all that kind yeah. of thing, he wants to go for a yeah. ceramic hard coat. Just a short, a two year one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to start that in yeah, Thursday. Before it, before it gets fucked by the New Zealand roads. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And the sun. Yeah. So, perfect timing all day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what have we got going on here? You've been just out of this today, eh? Yeah, I actually just, just did this. I was running a bit behind today. So I've just put the fiberglass, the chop strand in, the fiberglass and the resin. You can see it's yeah. still a bit flexible. So hopefully in a few minutes this will stiffen up. Nice. Um, and I've just put some aluminium uh, foil tape there just to give me like a surface to sort of emulate. Yep. And then I put the reinforcing cloth in there with some resin. That'll set up nicely. And I can peel the, the tape off. Yeah. And, you know, trim oh, the edges. Yeah, yeah, tr exactly, trim the edges back. Yeah. And I'll put some more layers on this side, on the inside, just so that that isn't too flimsy. Yeah. And then on the other side, I'll use a combination of um, fiberglass filler, like body filler with uh, the same stuff in it. Because yeah. that bonds nicely to this oh, and yeah. it gives it extra strength. Yeah. And then once that, once I've got the shape, then I'll do like the final filling with um, like a finer filler. It's just a nicer finish. Nice. And uh, so these, you just do one sheet, and then you guess you just punch a hole in it later. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so similar thing over here. The tape is just to give me some sort of support for this, because this is essentially soft cloth. Yeah. And it, it stiffens up once it once it has resin in it. So again, that will get some more layers, uh, front and back. Yeah. and then I'll just reshape it once it's stiff enough to do yeah. that. Because when they ripped the bumper off there was yeah. one, is that one oh, just no, okay? that one I think just had a crack in it. And, but oh this, yeah, that all one's of these, just all right. Yeah, all of these. Yeah, so up. one, two, three, four. Yeah. Four of them just completely yeah. like the the clip just, oh, they just, yeah, the clip just ripped through yeah, so it. The, and, yeah, this end over here, even if I push there, you can see this back end of the bumper yeah. of the, the hole was yeah. blown out so the bumper could essentially yeah. slide off it was <laughs> not a quick release yeah um, so yeah now that will be sorted so the bumper's not going to go anywhere so. after this and it's hopefully going to look a bit nicer so no. then i mean after this once i've done all the repairs yeah. and the modifications then um then i'll move on to the other stress fractures yeah. so that I fixed that by sanding that out. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if you can actually see that too well. 
Oh, there you go. You can just yeah. see it. So it's cracked sort of from there to there, and that would have happened from the same incident. Yeah. Um, that's the gel coat that would have cracked, but that, that translated all the way through to yeah. the top. So I'll sand that out, <laughs> fill it, sand the whole bumper, fix any other chips and necks. Yeah. And and I know my side skirts have a few of these little like spider cracks. Yeah. yeah like, but look, to be honest with you, with, with fiberglass, it's always going to happen yeah. because it's so rigid. Yeah. Um, it doesn't like when it get when you take an impact, it doesn't absorb it or it doesn't flex. Yeah. 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 It's just like solid. So the only thing that gives is the weakest point. Yeah. 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 So like and in like this these, case, these it's joins. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, especially so, a front bumper, it's always going all over the place. Man, like this thing only needs a little bit of yeah, pressure yeah. that way. Like you know. Um, when you pull up into parking spaces and you've got those stupid judder bars that <laughs> stop you, you know what I mean? Sometimes when your car is low, like the front bumper will, it doesn't even have to hook over, it just yeah, sits yeah. on top of it. Yeah, yeah. You get in and then you have a passenger that yeah, wasn't yeah. there when you pulled up. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So all it takes is that to develop that and yeah. that's just the yeah. nature of having these fucking modified cars. Yeah. <laughs> I had that, that, that exact thing at Countdown. Yeah, bro. Um, like the, the day I got it back, like 10 <laughs> minutes after I got it back. Yep. I didn't really care because I knew I'd already booked in yep. uh, the equipment here, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but just <laughs> fucking That's went right up to say, oh, fuck it. Boom! Yeah, right bro. Into it. Um, <laughs> a similar thing actually happened. A friend of mine had a SRT8, but the oh, 300 yeah. seat. Oh, sick. And he backed into a parking space with no passengers and obviously didn't hear anything because the, there wasn't any weight in it and then picked up three passengers <laughs> and he was over the top of that thing and then obviously three passengers more went to pull away and it pulled the whole back of the bumper out same oh, thing shit. that happened here but on a plastic bumper yeah. and same exact same thing just blew this out yeah, and shit. yeah so it happens yeah. it's just it's one of those things um, but yeah. the good news is those types of things can be repaired you know what i mean and yeah. it's not it's not always a new bumper like on yeah, these yeah. one this whole section here because yeah. on some bumpers that's like a separate bracket that they glue on to like that if you call that the skin uh, and yeah. that bracket is glued on the inside as a mounting bracket it pulled off completely uh, then it, it can be repaired without going like oh shit i need a yeah. whole new bumper like it's not sure. always necessary that's yeah. so um what's next next i'll just wait for this to set up a little bit more yeah and then it will be safe to flip over. Oh, yeah, it's already way harder than yeah. I was before. Eh? It's like you a minute ago, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing here, I've got quite a coarse sandpaper. I think this is, um, yeah, that's 60 grit. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm gonna go this, I would consider this repairs. Yeah. So, is that like pretty deep? Yeah, 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 and I mean, I use quite a coarse sandpaper because it's gonna do that quickly, but yeah. also it's not gonna heat the fiberglass up. Uh, and yeah. yeah, it just it cuts through it so I can put the shape back in. Yeah. And then I go over that with a finer sandpaper. Yeah. So, with this, for example, I might go from 60 to 120 and finish with 180 grit sandpaper, and yeah. then that's coarse enough to um, for the primer to hold on to. Oh, yeah. So I'll go around and fix it. You can see there's more stress cracks. So I'll go around and do so all So you just this. like curve it over like that? Yeah, like yeah, that. like you can see here. And because it's um, the, the sand, oh, wow, yeah, yeah. yeah, because the sandpaper is sharp enough, it can do that and maintain the shaping yeah. ability. Whereas if I try to do that with a, like a much finer sandpaper, yeah. it's just going to follow it and it's not doing anything. Uh, yeah. It's just going to smooth it all out, but you'll see the, the waviness in it. Yeah. And that essentially looks shit. So yeah. <laughs> you can start course so you can keep the shape yeah. and do the repairs. And then you go around and do um, the finer sanding. And yeah. then the stone chips, the big ones, I'll fill those up. And then the, 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 the smaller ones, I will just fill up with a primer anyway, because it will be a, a spray filler. So yeah. yeah. Sick. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I um, hope you like it. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe, and uh, next episode we'll be picking it up and probably taking it for a nice, nice fat hoon to celebrate. So uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching.